In this video, we'll be going over combination sum two. So given a collection of candidate numbers, candidates, and a target number target, find all unique combinations in candidates where the candidate number sum to target. Each number in candidates may only be used once in the combination. The solution set must not contain duplicate combinations. So in our first example, we have 10, 1, 2, 7, 6, 1, 5. And we have the following combinations where the sum of each of the combinations is equal to our target, which is equal to 8. Now let's go do a dot process. We will be implementing a recursive backtracking approach. Now for each of the starting index i, we will want to scan forward. For each of the starting index i, we will want to scan forward from from i to the end of the array, end of the input array, which we denote as j, which we denote as index j, to find an element x to be included into our combination. We should note that we are only allowed to include an element x if x is less than or equal to target because if x is greater than target the sum will overflow we can only add values of x where x is less than or equal to target then after adding x to our combination we will continue our search for elements from j plus one because we, we do not want to use the same elements more than once. Because it say here, each element may be used only once. We will continue our search from index j plus one. Because the current, the element x is at index j. So after accounting for the current elements, we'll continue our search from j plus one. We'll continue our search from index one for the, com uh, for the combination of target minus x because we have added the current because we added x to a combination where this so where the decrement are target then after accounting for x we will backtrack our steps by removing the last elements from our current combination this will allow us to give space for the next elements to create our next combination so we will backtrack our steps by removing x from our combination this will give space to the next elements and also allow us to find the next combination. A side case we will also have the handle is the solution set must not contain duplicate combinations. Now, how can we avoid duplicate com uh, combinations? So we can say if we are currently looking for the elements we are currently looking for a elements for index k in our combination after accounting so if we found an element x if we found an elements x and we add x to our combination we will want to skip all futures now after accounting for x we want to skip all future occurrences of x occurrences of x for the index k because we do not want x to be placed inside index k in our combination ever again because if x is ever came back to our index k it will create a duplicate combination this means we will need to sort the input array in ascending order. This will allow us to group all of the duplicate elements together and will allow us to quickly determine if the current element is equal to the previous element. This will group duplicate elements together and allow us to quickly determine if the current element is equal to the previous element. That means if the current elements is equal to the previous elements, then we can skip the current element because we know we have already accounted for it already. 
Now let's go over the pseudocode. Now we're going to create a list result to keep track of all combination. Then we're going to sort and put array in ascending order. This will allow us to group all of the duplicate elements together. Then we can implement our recursive backtracking approach. Then what parameters do we need? We need the current starting index. And then our candidates is the input array. And our target is our current target. And then our com is our current combination. And then our result list of all combination. Then what's the base case? If i is out of bound, then, well, then, we, then we have no more elements. Then we can just return from the recursive call. If target is equal to zero, actually we don't even need this. We can just iterate through. We don't really need this case. Target is equal to zero, then we have found a valid combination. So I'm going to add a copy of com to result. We don't need the previous case. It, it'll be more apparent in, in the code, in the pseudocode after we type this out. So in each of the recursive call, we're going to iterate through from i to the end of the ray. Because if i is out of bound, then this iteration will not even be invoked. Denote it as j, index j. So if, if the current elements, if the current element is greater than target, we, we, uh, we want to skip the current elements. Or i is, or j is not equal to i. And the current element is equal to the previous element. We want to skip the current index. Um, this case will allow us to prevent duplicate combinations, and this one will prevent our sum from overflowing. So we can just say continue with the next iteration. Now we can add the current elements to the combination, and we'll recursively find the rest of the combination. Our current starting index turns to j plus 1 because we are not allowed to use the same elements more than once. And then our target gets decreased by the current elements. At canvas j. Then we'll backtrack our steps by removing the last elements from our list. Backtrack our steps by removing last elements from comp. Come from the combination. And then we can return the list of all combinations. Now let's go over the code. So we'll first create our resulting list for all combinations. Then we are sort the input array in sending order. Then we'll perform a recursive backtracking approach, starting index zero and then our input array and our target and the current combination and our result of all combinations. And then we're going to return results after our uh, recursive call finishes. So if target is equal to zero, we have found a valid combination. So we're going to result that add a copy of the current combination. We have to create a new list because if we just add combinations to our result, th um, this is by reference because we, we do not want it by reference. We actually need a new list into our result. So we're going to turn from the recursive call and then we're going to iterate through from I to the end of the end of the ray. current element is greater than target, we want to skip it, or i is not equal to j and the current element is equal to the previous element. 
then we then we want to skip it to prevent duplicate combinations. So we want to say continue. Now we want to add the current element to our combination, and then recursively find the rest of the combination, starting from j plus one, because each element is only allowed once. Target gets decreased by the current elements that we added to our combination, and combination and results. Then we're going to backtrack our steps by removing the last element from combination. Size minus one. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for more content that will help you pass the technical interview. I upload videos every day. If there are any topics you want me to cover, let me know in the comment section below.